So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to work with this lens. It is a Nikkor 85mm f2 that I got. It is in quite good condition besides two points. First one, it has a lot of play here. And then the second one is that there is some dust inside. As you can see, well, it's not really a big deal. And then we're going to fix that in no time. I'm going to explain you how to proceed to work with this lens. So what we're going to do is to open it then um, the lens this lens works everything from behind so forget about looking uh, for something here on the rim or behind here there is nothing everything is done from behind so what we're going to do is to remove the bayonet here so I already removed the bayonet and then I had some trouble so here you have to be extremely careful because this copy that I have here the screws were really 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 tight so I tried first time I saw that they were like really really strong and then I used it like a big screwdriver with a J0 tip and then put a lot of energy it wasn't coming I feel that I was going to deform the screw uh, the one the, the shape here the imprint the imprint of the screw and then I say okay I will stop I took I put some nail polish remover let it sit for a few minutes then I try it again this time it worked and then what I did was to put a lot of pressure here with the screwdriver and then with all my body I rotate it. This is the way to go if you feel that it is forcing a lot don't go to the point that you're going to destroy the imprint otherwise that will be a lot of trouble so that's my first recommendation about this lens but then otherwise once you manage to get them loose the screws here they come out really really simple okay and then when the five screws gone we can remove the bayonet here it comes in one piece excellent construction here you can even see the ball beatings you don't get this quality these days okay and then here be careful when manipulating this not to break this thin otherwise that will be also trouble okay and then here we reach this point and then we see three screws here so this is a typical construction of the AI lenses I had that recently with a 35 millimeters I think and then in this case here it's exactly the same thing the Nikkor, micro Nikkor 55 millimeters is built and then we can see that the screws here are actually loose and then this is the play we see and then if we simply tight these screws you will see okay, we'll take something more adapted I took now a G J triple zero screw tip which is more adapted and then here you see the play is gone so that's for the play but then anyway I'm going to remove those screws but then now you know if you get one of these lenses with play this is what you need to do just tighten those screws usually there is glue but then yeah probably after several decades because this lens is rather old I would say at least 40 years the glue lost somehow its properties ah, at least for the 
small screws here for the screws of the bayonet it actually kept really good its properties okay we remove those three screws and then now we can separate the optics here on the body which is all the bodies in very good condition we don't have hard points or well, maybe here a one but yeah nothing really really oh damn it. okay I see okay <laughs> don't go that way because I just discovered that you can simply screw this thing here so I guess the end stop will be this one so if you want to disassemble the helicoid here you simply need to unscrew this here and then be careful with the line of the helicoid okay interesting discovery okay and now here we want to remove some of the dust which is inside the, so this dust it is always in the region of the <coughs> of the diaphragm because you have uh, small holes and then by the munches on the diaphragm some and dust gets sucked in and then after the years well, it's going to accumulate there so what we're going to do this is also very simple I'm going to screw this element this screws by hand really simple and then what I'm going to do without many ceremony is to blow this just let me go and grab my blower okay here I am I'm back close again okay. I saw a speck of dust ok so we close here to make sure we don't have dust coming in again We have made very good progress here. Now we're going to reassemble. This is this is extremely simple, as with everything with this lens. So what we do is to pull the body. We make sure we have this element here, which is aligned with this slot. So we can do the motions of the diaphragm. Oh, okay. And then here, there is also something else that we need to take care of, and that would be the alignment of this slot here with the pin. So, and with that, we can come. Put the little screws, make sure they are tight. So, by tighten them, we eliminate the play that we have before. So, it's short you in the beginning and then here to finish we put the bayonet and then we make sure that this element here goes into the small hole intended for that okay what is the hole okay that's it we do small alignment by hand just to make sure we are aligned with the holes of the body and the bayonet and then we simply re-screw 
and then we can say we are done with the repair so extremely simple and then this is a very 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 nice lens so let's finish with this and then I will tell you goodbye okay so here we are here we are our lens is nice clean and without play and then we can enjoy it for many many years to go so this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time uh,